Hi everyone! So today I have a new to me vendor haul that I want to share and this is from Harper James Wax Co. I've seen a few different videos of people hauling Harper James Wax Co. and I've also had a comment on one of my videos saying that I should check them out. So yeah, I've been kind of into trying a few new vendors recently. So one night I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna browse and I ended up making an order. So I have it right here. All I did was cut open the box. It was wrapped really nicely that I decided, you know what, let me just open it on camera. So this is what it looks like. She does send an invoice and then it's wrapped up really nice in here with bubble wrap and these little purple like squiggly papers. Um, let's see, here's her business card. That's what it looks like. And then here's the back. I don't think I ordered on any like particular RTS. I just went on the website one night and just there was a lot in stock. So I just made an order. It shipped so quickly. So I made my order on the 24th, May 24th. It shipped on May 26th and it arrived to me on May 28th. So it came so quickly. Um, they're out of Illinois, I believe, so that's pretty close to Minnesota, so it came to me really quickly once it actually shipped. So, yeah, I'll show, it, show you guys one more time because it was wrapped so nicely. Um, I did see on the side here that I believe I got two samples. Um, so the first one is Bunny Kisses, and if I can find the scent notes, I'll put them in the video below um, the screen here bunny kisses and both samples are scents that I don't think I purchased the full size of so that's kind of nice right off the bat it smells like cherry leaning a tiny bit like medicine cherry so that's bunny kisses and then we have pure paradise so I'm guessing this is going to be like a fresh clean scent maybe yeah this smells really nice Definitely fresh and clean. I'm trying to decide if I smell like a laundry note. I'm not sure. For sure fresh and clean. So that's a nice um, blend. This will be a perfect like bathroom blend. Um, so I will list the prices as I go through. I got some of her snap bars. I got some clamshells. And I, I also got one souffle and a few of her waffle shapes. I know she has some other really cute shaped items. I didn't end up getting them this time around. I just kind of went with what seemed more like easy to store, easy to use. Those shapes are so cute, but then I know that I won't use them because they're too cute. So I ended up going with mainly snap bars and clamshells. So I see one, the one souffle that I got on top here. So I'll just go over this one first. So the souffles are $6 and they're 4.4 ounces. And this is the scent I got, Cake It Easy. Twinkies, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Maple Syrup. Let's see. I don't see a pour date on here, but she does have the scent notes, which I would prefer scent, scent notes over pour date. So... I like that. And the labels are really pretty of kind of what I can see on the top here. This is nice. I assumed I would like it, but I just wasn't sure how strong that maple syrup note was going to be. I do love cupcakes at Tiffany's. To me, that's what I smell the most. So that's what it looks like. A little drizzle on the top there. Um, so yeah. I feel like if you like cupcakes at Tiffany's, you'll probably like that. A little bit more like creaminess, extra bakeriness from the Twinkies, but I don't particul particularly notice like a super strong like maple syrup kind of a note, which I'm actually glad. I like more bakery, vanilla, cakey kind of notes. So I'm excited I got this. I think on every listing, it had a couple different options, whether you wanted like souffle, snap bar, waffle, clamshell. There was like a good variety of different shapes. So that was the first thing I got. And then I kind of see my two waffles right on here, on the top here too. So we'll go through those. 
Um, so the waffles are $4.50 and they're about 3.4 ounces. This is the first one I see here, which is Soren. I got a lot of clean, fresh, aquatic-y scents. I realize I don't have a ton of those kind of scents in my collection. And I think I mentioned this in my bathing garden haul, but I've come to realize my husband loves the fresh, clean, watery, aquatic notes. So I thought, you know what, I should grab a few more because whenever I ask him what he wants me to melt for the day, it's always like rain, water, oceany, like those kind of scents. And I'm like, I don't even have that many in my collection. So you'll see I got a lot of fresh, clean, aquatic -y scents in this haul. So Soren is fresh air, ocean breeze, crisp mint, and watery fern. I assumed I'd like it. I just wasn't sure how the crisp mint was going to go with the blend. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful, but that's the only reason I didn't get the big snap bar. Oh, this is good. Um, I totally get the mint. So that's what the waffle looks like. Isn't that pretty? Little drizzle on here too. I feel like I get the mint and maybe the watery fern. It almost smells a little like herbally. Like it's kind of leaning almost like a rosemary or like eucalyptus kind of a scent. Maybe that is the crisp mint though. Maybe it's leaning kind of an herbally mint. Hmm, I think that's gonna be pretty. Um, but I am glad I got it in like the smaller like waffle shape. I don't know if it's like my all time favorite, but it is a nice scent and just something kind of fun and different and unique to try in my collection. And then we have Coral Reef, Yuzu, Mandarin, Water Lily, and Driftwood. Aren't her labels really pretty? They look really nice, very professional. Huh, okay, this is also pretty. So let's, let's show the waffle up close here. Um, but again, I'm kind of glad I did get this one in the smaller shape too. It is really nice. I definitely get a little bit of that floral with like the water lily. It, it smells pretty floral to me, the tiniest bit of like an orange citrusy note in there, but I get more floral forward in this one. Huh, that's pretty though. This smells like it would be a great springtime, summertime scent. That smells good. And then what else do we have here? So I think I just got two waffles. So let's go into the clamshells next. Because I kind of see them stacked up on the side of the box. So let's see. All right. So the first one I have here is Apple of My Pie. Did I mention, so the clamshells are $4 each for 2.8 ounces. So this is apple of my pie, apple cinnamon bakery dough. I kind of have intentions of probably saving this one till the fall time, but I don't know. It just kind of like, I just felt like getting an apple pie scent, I guess. Oh yeah, this screams fall time to me. It smells like a spiced apple pie. Um, not spicy, like not, it's not red hot cinnamon, but it smells like, it almost smells like kind of a fall craft store potpourri kind of a scent. That is very pretty. And then it's just a plain clamshell. That's nice though. It doesn't scream apple pie. Like I said, it screams more like almost craft store, um, what did I say? Like potpourri kind of mix. That's pretty. Definitely pretty. Doesn't lean super bakery to me. Hmm, I like it though. Um, we have sea salt and orchid. This is sea salt, jasmine, tonka bean, and ozone. So that's what that looks like. It's really pretty. I'll take out the clam. It looks like it's a little bit like marbled. This is really pretty. It gives me a little bit laundry vibes and I think it's because of the ozone. Ozone to me comes off clean, laundry-like. Let's see if I can pop this out. I, I had a comment too. I did not even notice this when I was browsing the site, but they do customs. So I'm gonna have to check that out if I like the performance. 
Oh yeah, this one's very, very strong. Look at that pretty kind of purple, light marbling. That's so pretty. It does come off to me as a laundry, like a floral laundry, but not overly floral, not powdery, a very pretty gentle floral, clean scent. So that'll be pretty. And that one smelled pretty strong. Um, you guys will have to let me know if you've tried out Harper James Wax Co. how you think performance is. I'll probably let this sit for a few weeks just because I don't know when it was poured. But so far, what I've smelled so far smells pretty strong. I think the Cake It Easy I might let sit for a while just because it is kind of that strong like vanilla-ish bakery kind of a scent. Okay, anyway, High Tide Ozone Sea Salt Cedar Citrus. So this is another one with ozone. So I have a feeling it'll be a clean fresh scent and look at like I said aren't aren't her labels really gorgeous I love like the background picture Ooh, this is pretty I don't smell the ozone laundry note as much as I got in this clam I definitely can get the citrus and a little bit of like that sea salty aquaticness Oh, the citrus is very, very pretty in this one. Oh, it's very, very pretty. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like if you were cleaning your counters, like a countertop cleaner, a citrusy lemon orangey counter cleaner, but you lived right by like the ocean and you had like your windows open. So you get kind of that natural sea salt air breeze coming in your windows as you're like cleaning. I don't know. That's kind of what it reminds me of. That one's really pretty. Oh, that's nice. So far, I'm really excited. I like the aesthetic of like Harper James wax. It looks really pretty. Okay. This one is Island Fresh. Ozone, lavender, vanilla, rose, jasmine, melon, fresh air. So again, it looks like she has ozone in a ton of her blends, or at least the blends that I've picked up. And on the website, she said that this Island Fresh is compared to Island Fresh by Gain, so that laundry type. So when I read it was comparable to the, the Gain scent, that's what made me want to try it. I didn't know reading off of just the scent notes if it was going to lean too floral with the lavender, rose, and jasmine. Um, but because it was a laundry dupe, I figured I would really like it. Yes, this is really pretty. It totally smells like a laundry, just a pretty green clam. That is beautiful. I really like it. I don't know. Reading the scent notes, like I already said, it's just so heavy on the floral. I just didn't think I was going to enjoy it. But if you like any sort of like laundry kind of scents, you can't go wrong with this. That is really pretty. Very nice. I have Ocean Breeze Ozone Citrus Melon Oak Moss. So like I said, I picked up a lot of fresh, clean notes in this this haul. I feel like typically I focus so much on like bakery, strawberry, those kind of notes that I don't know when I made this purchase, I was just in the mood to, to try a few kind of more out of my comfort zone kind of scents. Mm, this is pretty. It's it's crazy. Even though a lot of these scents seem like they're so similar, they smell they smell really different. I mean, all in the scent category of like clean, fresh, aquatic, but they just smell so unique from one one from the other. Oh, that's, that's pretty. I feel like my husband's gonna like a lot of these. Because of the ozone, it's not like so, so heavy strong on the aquatic. Um, it definitely smells clean. Like this one again is it's almost kind of like you're doing a load of laundry or like you're like hang drying laundry outside on like a laundry line if you live by the ocean. This is really pretty. Not super strong on the citrus. Um, but it's pretty. It's just a really nice clean scent. Um, and so far all of her clamshells, I'm really happy to say I don't get any sort of like plasticky clamshell scent sometimes i get that every so often with clams but i haven't gotten that on any of the clams i've smelled from harper james yet 
And then this last clam that I got is Laundry Day, Jasmine, Lilac, Rose, and Amber. So this is again, very heavy floral, but because of the name, I just assumed it would be more of a laundry leaning scent as opposed to super strong floral. And the interesting thing is I have my um, iPad open with the scent descriptions that I copied over from the website. And it, uh, it has more description on the website, I think. It says sweet orange, jasmine, lilac, rose, amber, musk. So she only lists four scent notes on this particular bar. I mean, this one definitely is more floral than some of the other um, kind of laundry clean scents that I've smelled, but it still smells really pretty. I I don't mind floral as long as it's not too, too overly powdery. This is pretty, but like I said, probably the most floral of the scents, the laundry-ish clean scents that I've smelled so far, but it's really pretty. Yeah, and so far everything smells pretty strong, so I wonder if it is like relatively cured like like i said she doesn't have scent uh pour dates on her label so i'm not quite sure when they were poured but i don't think it, it was like a new rts or anything this stuff was just up on her website all right so then it looks like i got nine clam what are these nine snap bars and she wraps them in bubble wrap in packs of three each and she has these really cute like thank you stickers on the outside and then each sticker is a little bit different so that's really pretty and here's what this one looks like so these are let me just open this one these are the really big snap bars a lot of vendors have snap bars kind of of this size um they are approximately 6.7 ounces for nine dollars each so these are ones that I figured I'd really like, which is why I ended up getting them in. I think this is the biggest size she offers. Um, this first one, I just had to give it a try, right? I give this kind of scent a try from any vendor. It's like my, it's my uh, safe go-to blend that I know I'll love. This is strawberry pound cake, strawberry lemon zest pound cake whipped cream. So that's what this looks like. And then just kind of a light drizzle on the top there which is so pretty um so let's see i assume the lemon zest isn't going to be strong but let's see yeah this this is great it smells just like kind of like a bath and body works dupe so that there, there's what the drizzle looks like so pretty it just adds a little extra i don't know it looks so beautiful just that light drizzle detail I don't know if they have mica glitter. Sometimes you can never tell until you actually warm. But um, if you don't like glitter so far, it doesn't look like she has like glitter particles in her wax. And I just love that drizzle detail. It's just so pretty. But yeah, this smells like this smells like a amazing like Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake kind of a dupe. Love it. I have Black Sea, Citrus, Sea Salt, Ozone, Plum, and Amber. I just thought this one sounded like it would be good. I don't know for sure, but it kind of reminds me of like the Super Tarts, um, like Jaws kind of notes. I remember it's kind of like a aquatic-y sea salt, ozone, and I thought they had like plum in that too. I'll have to double check, but let's see how this one smells. Again, that pretty like drizzle. How do vendors put the wax in without them smudging? See how there's no smudging on the top, but then when I took out my strawberry pound cake, I smudged on the zipper. Like, how do they put them in so delicately without smudges? Oh yes, this is beautiful. Doesn't really remind me of the Super Tarts one as much now that, now that I smell it. It smells actually kind of masculine a little bit. It's pretty though, very pretty. I wonder if it's like what is it the plum and amber or something mixing together smelling a little bit manly i guess that's really pretty though i might try it in like my living room open concept area um we'll see maybe the office 
that's pretty though i really like it and i'm happy i got it in the large snap bar definitely something that i don't have a lot of like masculine aquatic-y fresh kind of scents in my collection so i'm happy i grabbed this one okay sugar cookie i remember the comment on one of my videos said that i should try sugar cookie from harper james and i was like you don't have to tell me twice i love nice strong bakery scents and if anything i can mix and match this with other blends i love mixing different scents together and then this one also came a little bit cracked at the bot uh in the middle there which totally fine she wrapped it really amazingly so sometimes they just come cracked Ooh, okay i think this is gonna be a good one so again she has that little drizzle there so pretty it just adds the perfect amount of detail oh my gosh i can tell i feel like this is going to be really good when i go to warm it it's a little light on cold but i'm always never super wowed by bakery on cold like i am on warm like usually it's stand out it's amazing i have a feeling this one's going to be really good I almost got two snap bars of sugar cookie, but I was like, let me give it a try first. It's probably like a staple scent on their website. So, or if it's not, I can probably just order it as like a custom bar. But yeah, I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna really like this one. Um, let's open up the next bundle. Actually, I can just slide them right out here. Um, this next one, we have a few aquatic -y. Let me just slide out this bundle too. Ooh, okay, they are so beautiful. Like, look at how beautiful these bars are. This is a sneak peek. Look at, I love these colors. They go so well together. Like these ones, it's like an ombre. Okay, let's just do this random orange one then. This is carrot cake. Carrot zest, cinnamon, butter, vanilla, and baked cake. I just thought I'd try it. Ever since my Bath and Body Works, like carrot cake, candle i've been really wanting to try out more carrot cake blends but i don't feel like a lot of vendors have carrot cake blends at least i don't see them too much so i was kind of excited to see this i hope it kind of reminds me of that bath and body works candle Ooh, that's good that is really really good it doesn't i feel like what this one is missing a little bit is like the cream cheese frosting note I definitely get kind of that carrot cake note, but I don't smell that cream cheese frosting, which when I think of carrot cake, I think of like a cream cheese frosting, like glaze on top, but this is really good. This is pretty. I feel like maybe a little light, but again, I feel like you can never really judge bakery fully on cold and I'll definitely let it sit and cure a bit longer, but I was just really excited when I saw this. I really wanted to give it a try um let's do another bakery this is blueberry cobbler blueberry sugar vanilla spice and bakery dough i just i love her labels i love the aesthetic just the drizzle so pretty i feel like too her prices are very reasonable oh this is this is beautiful just if you like blueberry cobbler blueberry bakery blends you'd like this I love blueberry bakery blends. I think strawberry is my favorite, then probably blueberry bakery blends. That's pretty. I love it. I love blueberry bakery. So that was blueberry cobbler. And then the rest here are all kind of the fresh, aquatic y, clean kind of scents. So let's go through these. This one is cactus and sea salt. Cactus ocean air ozone driftwood and sea moss so again a lot of a lot of ozone in the blends that i got which i love ozone is a very pretty pretty note i think i've had it on its own i think and i like it i like it the clean to me fresh laundry almost i would classify it as Ooh, this is pretty Okay, yeah, so her her notes on her website are a little different because on the website it says green cactus, ocean air, ozone, driftwood, sea moss, sweet musk. So it looks like maybe the sweet musk got cut off because there's a comma there, but then nothing else. This is pretty though. 
definitely smells green almost like a stem it's not quite quite like green grass but it's borderline like kind of that green earthiness from like i guess maybe the cactus maybe the driftwood too it is pretty though and it does give me aquatic -y vibes though like aquatic -y green that's nice this will be a great summertime springtime blend this i feel like would be great mixed with like a fruity note or mixed with like lemon well i guess lemon is a fruity note or mixed with a little more floral that could be kind of pretty or obviously probably just pretty on its own so far i'm really impressed i'm really liking harper james and this could be dangerous because look at i love when snap bars and stuff sit and stack like this in your collection it's just so pleasing okay this next one is coastal waters ozone jasmine marine waters cedarwood dark amber I love this. I love her labels. Okay, so let's see what this one smells like. This is really pretty. This is like one of my favorite like aquatic-y, watery, fresh blends that I've smelled so far. So that's what it looks like. This is really pretty. This is so nice. I do get, it's funny, this one doesn't have any like orange or citrus note in it, but I almost get a citrus note. Oh, it's so pretty. This is kind of a brighter, fresh, clean. Like I said, you definitely get some aquatic-y kind of notes. I almost get like a sea salty kind of note. Maybe that's from like the marine waters. It is really pretty. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. This will be great for the summertime. We have sea minerals. I had a sea minerals. I had a few aquatic -y fresh scents way back when I had some scent shot cups from Glow Sense Candle Co. And so some of these kind of remind me, like some of them sound familiar. I don't know if these are like blends that she makes or if these are like single scent oils and then these are just the notes that like make up that scent oil or not. But I definitely have had a sea mineral scent in the past and I really liked it. This is ozone, eucalyptus, sea salt, and moss. Oh, this one's really pretty too. The eucalyptus doesn't smell overly like herbally. I definitely get when I first smelled it, I got kind of like a laundry note. Oh, it's so good. I feel like my husband's gonna love all of these ones that I picked up because they're so like aquatic -y, clean, fresh. Oh, this is so pretty. I mean, you, you get the eucalyptus, but it's not super, super strong noticeable. It just meshes really well with the blend. Ozone, so pretty and fresh. Sea salt, definitely a little salty, aquatic -y moss i guess a tiny bit of like greenness coming from that it is really pretty and this is like blended wonderfully oh my gosh i'm so excited about this okay and then the last one i picked up from harper james is stormy seas sea salt himalayan salt sorry sea air himalayan salt and driftwood so that's what the label looks like oh this is pretty too I'm just so excited to have some of these scents. They just scream like summertime, fresh, clean. All of these um, blends that I got, like these kind of aquatic-y clean, I feel like would be perfect blends if you had company over. It's not like an automatic, like, oh, I just cleaned. I have a laundry scent in. It just smells very clean, fresh. I feel like a lot of people would like them. They're... They smell strong. I mean, I can definitely smell them, but I don't feel like they would be overly powerhouse, like hit you in the face strong for people who might not be as used to like home fragrance scents as some of us are. This is really pretty too. Oh my gosh. I'm really impressed. I'm, this is dangerous. Oh my gosh. I feel like I want to make another order. Um, I'm going to have to watch out for what she does like releases in the future. I'll definitely try them out. Maybe I'll try one of these soon to just see how it performs. Cause like I said, maybe these were already on her website. So maybe they're already cured by now, but 
I'm really excited. Let me know if you've tried anything from Harper James. I will definitely update after I've warmed in my Wax Mill Empties videos. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.